about um, a diet that I did <laughs> and today is the fifth day of my diet. It has been very very high and happy and <laughs> very very low and uh, breaking some ice there. So what I did for five days, I was able to lose five pounds. Now that may not sound like a lot, but when you get to the point where you're trying to lose your like last 20 pounds, those five pounds mean something and the more you lose weight, the, the harder it is to lose weight when you get to the very end. I'm going to be breaking the liquid, all liquid diet this evening probably because I have been eyeing a whole batch of like really ripe bananas that's like my craving <laughs> super ripe bananas so yeah I'm gonna probably eat that tonight because yesterday oh man I almost broke my diet you guys ah uh, it was it was so hard anyways let me first begin with why I decided to do this liquid diet but basically before I got pregnant I was like 100 and 102 pounds or 103 pounds or something so that was before I got pregnant when I got pregnant I gained about 20 pounds the first pregnancy and then a few months after like three four months after that I gained I got pregnant again and I gained another 20 pounds <laughs> well, maybe even more than that so it was like, you know, getting down, I'm trying to get down to where I was before I got pregnant. So I was about 103 or 2 pounds. And I started at 120 and now I'm 115. So about 15 more pounds to lose. I wanted to do this liquid diet because I was doing other diets. And I'm not saying other diets don't work. But when you get to that point where it's getting really hard and you just gotta do something different, like you gotta get your body into like shock it. To Before I got pregnant, I I like really was into this like ab workout stuff. That was like my thing. That was like my thing. I could do ab workouts and I could feel like the bottom of my abs, like below your belly button, those abs. Oh, I could feel them working when I was like, I could feel them burning when I was doing the crunch. After being pregnant and giving birth twice, it's it, the whole, my, what has changed is my abs, it's like they've been split in half because the muscles stretch so much when you're pregnant, right? They just stretch so much. So that, those muscles actually stretch. So now it used to be like this, right? There used to be a little groove before pregnancy. But then you get pregnant like, like this. So basically I have like a groove all down. And now I can't even feel hardly like maybe 2% or something. I can't feel the lower abs when I'm doing all these exercises. So I'm like trying to figure out, I'm like, is it working? Am I, am I getting there? You know, it's, I don't feel those lower abs. So I don't even know if I'm really working them. But then... I see some results, okay, I'm like, okay, yeah, it's doing something, it's doing something. I have been doing crunches these past five days. The first day I was doing the 1000 crunches in one hour video, I will link up here. And I was going to do that for three days, right? I was going to do 1000 crunches every day at a time for three days. But what happened is the second day when I went to go do the crunches, I couldn't do them. Like physically, I couldn't do them because what happens is when you're doing crunches, you're putting so much pressure and friction on like your tailbone. This has never happened to me before, but I got so much friction and pressure on that point that I got like a, like my skin just kind of, it's like a carpet burn on my skin so then the next day I went to go do it I couldn't do it anymore so I had to do a kind of like a different version of it which is basically like a crunch where you lay down and then you just kind of go to the ceiling kind of just like a 
one third of a crunch or a quarter crunch or something, but that just you go to the ceiling and then you're working your abs that way. And it, I did a thousand of those. Anyways, that was just kind of a, a ramble. I started off with a very warm glass of water with about two or three tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. And that kind of just like woke me up a little bit. And then with that, I took a B complex, vitamin B complex supplement. And that just gave me some energy as well. And then what I did was I drank tea throughout the day. The tea that I drank was yerba mate. And I made a video about yerba mate. And I just, I love this stuff because sometimes you can be like intermittent fasting or fasting in general or whatever you can drink like green tea i can't drink green tea on an empty stomach because it makes me want to puke like it it just like it doesn't and it makes me really hungry i don't want to increase my appetite when i'm trying not to eat or when i'm trying to fast i want to decrease my appetite it has been working so so good for appetite control for boosting energy and you know it's really good because I was cold a lot of the time. This warms me up and this has some this has so many vitamins and minerals and B complex vitamins for energy and it, it just makes you feel good, it makes your brain feel it makes you feel happy. Pajarito. Most of the time I just drank tea. Oh, another thing that I ate when I got really hungry during the afternoon is I sucked the juice of two oranges and that just gave me a boost and helped me to keep going because otherwise I probably would have eaten something around six o'clock in the evening. This boost meal replacement. I really enjoyed this and it was satisfying. I had one of these like before I was doing intermittent fasting. And I, I would get to the point where it'd be six o'clock, okay, I'm allowed to eat. And what would happen is like, I would just kind of eat and, and eat till I'm just over full because I would be so hungry. The third and fourth day, third day, I was feeling so hungry mid afternoon that I had a boost. And then around seven or eight in the evening, I had another one. And because I was feeling like I was gonna, I was gonna quit, you know, I was just gonna eat, you know, eat all those bananas. <laughs> and then if I ate the bananas, you know what's gonna happen? I'm gonna eat all the other things that I was eyeing me. So, um, yeah, so I had that and I don't think it really made a difference in the weight loss because it's a liquid, it, it comes out of you quickly it's used up and comes out of you quickly. It's a liquid. That's why it's so great that you can have nutrition in a liquid form. It doesn't stay in you. And then that's how you can get like a smaller waist. My waist just shrunk. My hips shrunk. Like um, my thighs definitely shrunk. It was good. I'm, I'm, I love this meal replacement thing. And then on the fourth day I had two as well. And that was two in the evening. Before bed I take a half a teaspoon or even less than a half a teaspoon of this Shin Shindel's mineral mineralian Shindel's mineralian Shindel's mineralian okay I made a video about this like a year ago about how it's good for the eyes the skin hair nails and bones and so I actually found a website that is in English because this stuff it's like all booked out on Amazon.com, European, Amazon, they don't have it either, UK one. I will leave the link down below to the website. If you, if you click on the link, then it's probably going to come up in German. So if you go to Google and you put Schindel's Mineralien English, that you will see on that first page, there's going to be a website and it starts with like shop something something like the the name of the website you will see and then if you go on there then it will be in English this one is 400 grams it's not a lot it's not really that much 
these are minerals basically these are amazing minerals um, that really help like my skin from this diet it could be with the liquid with the tea because this stuff has a lot of antioxidants in it as well and just the whole thing together I know that this really helped to like give me energy it really helped my digestion I could feel my digestion working because it kind of like draws all the toxins out of your colon and stuff my nails started growing like crazy like they're so so strong they're unbelievably strong and they grow fast like every day my skin has been feeling so smooth this really grows out new hair like I could tell I could see like little sprouts like little baby hair hairs here everywhere and like little just sprouting out like this new hair grow amazing um, and for teeth it fills in your teeth that you don't have like gray teeth anymore um, it's like because it's really awesome for the bones for remineralization of your bones you have brittle bones it's about 25 euro which with shipping to to Canada it costs about 65 dollars from euro plus the euro shipping equals 65 dollars for this little 400 gram thing <laughs> felt free like I just felt free from food from eating from worrying about what I just ate and I felt present like I felt like I am in the moment I'm alive in the moment and I feel and sense everything in that moment I felt more present being a mother I felt more present being a wife I felt more clear about my life um, Definitely, I felt a lot more gratitude, appreciation, and thankfulness, and I just started seeing God different, differently. I started seeing the goodness of God. After I have the boost, it just makes you happy. Like, it, you know, sometimes you eat something and then you just feel like, oh, why did I just eat that? What am I going to do now? I'm going to have to exercise more. I'm going to have to do... You know, it's just like it takes a load off your head. If there's anything you want to know, please just drop a comment down below. Tell me uh, what you think. I will show the before picture and then I will show you this picture and this is like it's a huge difference. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I really wanted to make this video like a real review of what a liquid diet could look like in five days you can lose five pounds thank you guys so much for watching i have said that like a million times when i keep saying that well i just thank you i just i just thank you over and over thank you for watching thank you for subscribing thank you for loving and uh, thank you for loving thank you for liking too so <laughs> okay <laughs> all right there um i'll see you guys next time <laughs> bye